Hello and welcome back to Cost Management. It's so nice to see you. This week we are going to look at two relatively short videos for spoilage, rework, and scrap. This video in topic one will focus on defining and understanding each one of these. Spoilage refers to a term when we're looking at some form of output that doesn't meet some specific performance level or standard of composition. Let's think of water bottles being manufactured. If they do not have the correct shape because of incorrect machining, they would be referred to as spoilage. Normal spoilage is the result of a predictable rate of failure in a process that is operating under efficient conditions. Simply put, stuff happens. Now, conversely, abnormal spoilage is spoilage that is not expected in a process operating under efficient conditions, and it is viewed as controllable and avoidable. A difference between normal and abnormal spoilage may be, if we think back to the water bottle example, uh, say, you know, under efficient conditions, we have it such that of every thousand water bottles made, we expect one or two to be you know, misshapen and not used. However, uh, if we were to be producing a thousand water bottles and say the roof caved in and destroyed half of those water bottles that we we're working on, that would be an abnormal spoilage event because the, uh, the process was operating under efficient conditions, yet uh, the roof caved in and that should be avoidable, right? So that would be kind of like an abnormal event that came in and, uh, and disrupted our production. Okay, not in the normal course of business. Spoilage, rework, and scrap definitions. Rework refers to the process of converting items from production that are rejected into reusable products that are either the same or lower quality. For example, carrots that don't meet the visual standards may be reworked into baby carrots, that is, shaved down to appear more attractive to consumers. <laughs> scrap refers to residual materials that result from a manufacturing process. This could be pieces of sheet metal that are cut from larger pieces. Uh, the smaller pieces can then be reforged and used again. Let's look at a question. You work in a facility that produces milk. During one of the production days, a batch of milk goes bad. After root cause analysis is performed, it was determined that this occurred because an employee had not followed the correct sanitization process when checking into work that day, causing a bacteria to enter the facility. This batch of milk would be referred to as A. Rework B. Normal spoilage C. Abnormal spoilage D. Scrap The correct answer is abnormal spoilage. Spoilage that is considered avoidable under efficient operating conditions is referred to as abnormal. As management could have implemented strong controls to avoid the spoilage, it is abnormal. Linking back to my roof caving in example, I suppose you can make an argument either way. However, one could make the argument that under efficient working conditions, uh, you know, routine roof maintenance would be happening to avoid any roof caving in to stop your production. So really, if the processes in place support regular and efficient operations, as you know, having a regular operating roof would imply, then in my previous example, that would hold true. That destruction of half the water bottles would be abnormal. However, if there were case facts that went on and on and on and supported the fact that the company doesn't take care of their property, plant, and equipment, the, you know, there's no safety measures in place, well, then there's kind of a cause for a bigger concern within the company that they are not, that their terms of operating efficiently are not what are in the norms and standards. So under those extreme circumstances, perhaps you could say that the roof caving in and causing half the water bottle damage may be normal. However, uh, do your best to read the case facts at hand and not to dive too, too deeply into making your own scenarios out of um, case facts that aren't there. It will help you when trying to synthesize and understand the concepts now and also be beneficial to you on a later exam. All right, nice work. I will see you in the next one.